Hey guys, what's going on? Grub here again, and welcome to the first ever Z-Grid Strats. Uh, it is a series where I show you different strategies on different maps and talk about them and show you how I did them and things like that. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this series for a really, really long time, but it seems like every strategy has already been talked about. It's already pretty much known by everybody who plays zombies. So I figured if I made strategy videos about those strategies that are, that are already known, I really wouldn't be helping anybody. So I haven't really made them. I've kind of held off on them because of that reason. And uh, But this strategy right here, I don't really think it's that well known. I mean, I'm sure, I'm positive, uh, a lot of people do it already. But I thought I kind of made it up by myself in this in this uh, game that I was playing because I, I haven't seen it before. And so I figured that'd be a pretty good uh, strategy to do for the first episode of Zegra's Strats. So anyways, as you can see, all I'm doing is running around in the basement of 5. And it's uh, pretty much all left turns. It started out that way anyways. I started adding on variations to it and like cutting through rooms and uh, there's like other hallways you can go through stuff like that and the best way that I figured out to do it is uh, to basically run in a it's more of a square obviously but it's like a circle I guess well it's obviously a square but it's a uh, anyways any fucking ways just keep running turning left and left and left every chance you get and uh, once the zombie stops spawning once there's like pretty much all behind you you run over here into the pig room and uh, just, they all bunched up perfectly for you to shoot them with the Winter Sphere or Winter's Howl, whichever one you have. And uh, that is the best way I figured out to do it. Um, this strategy works best with, I haven't really done it in single player yet. The only way I've done it is with three people right here. And what they were doing is Bless was running a circle in the middle floor. And the Zombie Resort was running a circle in the top floor. And I will make videos showing those two circles uh, right after this one and I'll put links to those so you guys can see what they were doing while I was doing this. So I haven't really tried this on solo yet, so technically this is a three player strategy video, but um, yeah, just try it out solo, let me know how it works out for you guys. It seemed like it worked out, it was pretty easy, I mean on a scale of 1 to 10 on difficulty, this would definitely be 6 or 7, I mean it's not an easy strategy because it is really tight hallways and the Winter's Fury saved me pretty much most of the time, but there are the teleporters and other things like that to get out of the way quickly. So if you know how to dodge zombies, if you know how to run rape trains and do all this other stuff, then this should be no problem for you. But if you're new to zombies, then uh, I would, I don't know, I, you have to practice it because you have to get good at it because that's what the people who reach high rounds do is they run rape trains, they dodge zombies, they're good at that. So if you're still in the camping stages of playing zombies, definitely work on it. Uh, maybe try an easier strategy before this one. Because uh, it, it is not a beginner one. I would probably, I don't know, if I was going to do it on a beginner expert type thing, it, it might be an expert strategy. Then again, it's not even hard enough to be an expert, expert strategy. So I guess the best way to rate this is on a scale of 1 to 10. I would give it a 6 or a 7. So 6.5 is uh, difficulty on this one. Anyways, um, I'll put links to the other two circles that I did in the same as that game. Please try this out on solo. Try it out in 3 players. Try it out in 4 players. Let me know how it works. Put it in the comments down below. And um, hopefully that helped out somebody. I mean, a lot of you guys might have already known about this, but my goal is to help at least one person from this video. So uh, thanks for watching. My name is Grub, and peace out.